reading the Bible from cover to cover, and now we are reading the book of Revelation. Let's see what Revelation 1 and 3 says. Before we start, as usual, if there's no truth in you, you shall never see God. You have to be true to yourself, seek the truth, love the truth, and be true to yourself, and then true to God. Therefore, you shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Right. Now, all of you need to be born again above all. You need to be born again if you want to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Let's read the version 1, verse 3. Happy is the one who reads this book. And happy are those who listen to the words of this prophetic message and obey what is written in this book. For the time is near when all these things are going to happen. So, read this book, understand this book, and be sure that you understand what this book is all about because what's written in this book is going to come to pass. Let's see. Of course, you need to obey the Word of God. Why do you have to obey the Word of God? Because it's from God Himself and what He commands is going to come to pass no matter what. Let's see what Hebrew tells us from Hebrew to English. Shama, Shem, Mem, Ayn. Shama means you have to listen and obey the Word of God. Listen what is written and obey. What does it mean? Do according to the word of God. Let's see. Ashray. Aleph, Shin, Lesh, Yo. You are fortunate, you are briefed enough if you read and understand the word of God because once you read and understand, therefore, you are blessed. You are fortunate because you know what God is talking about that is coming to pass. Now, Nabi. Nabi is prophecy in Hebrew. Non, Lesh, Yod, Aleph, Nabi. Prophecy, which is a fruit that should be produced inside you. So you should know about prophecy. What God commanded long ago, you should know and understand what all is about. Nabi. And Karov. Kof, Lesh, Ba, Vet. Karov. Why? Because it's near, it's closer, it's soon, it's coming to happen soon. That's the message God is telling you. Be ready because it shall come to pass and it's very near. Remember, a thousand years to God, it's like one day because when God gave this message to John, we think it's long time ago, but to God it's like just yesterday. Now, key, half and yod. Why? It's God introducing this. God is giving us the reason why we have to read and understand the word of God. The reason why it's bringing us a justification, justified why we have to read and understand the word of God and no prophecy because it's coming soon and God is telling us why we have to care. Care because you have to understand and know what all these prophecies are all about. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.